Uh, welcome everyone, so glad you are here. It is time to close the day. We are both sad and glad. Um, our wonderful chapel cat, Jesse, has uh, gone across, as they say, the Rainbow Bridge um, and is keeping time in the chapel in heaven. And uh, I like to imagine that. There, there was a, there's a monastery of the Episcopal Church um holy cross where they, they've had a succession of labradors that are trained to the chapel bells so when they ring the angels for the office the dogs come running to their spot in the chapel and i imagine that jesse has joined that crew um and is faithful in her attendance so she's with us in prayer you are happily welcomed here we are honored to have you it is time for evening prayer please like and subscribe hit the bell for notifications as we close out this day in worship may it be one that is fruitful in service to you and may you rest well and rise refreshed for the day to come tomorrow is a busy day for us but now we close the day in evening prayer like and subscribe hit the bell for notifications. And if you have any intercessions, please include those in the remarks on the YouTube channel, or if you're watching along with us live in the Facebook remarks in the live chat, we make sure that we offer those at the end of the office. And if we don't catch those at the end of the office, we make sure they get offered at the next service, which will be, which will be morning prayer tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. We're ready for evening prayer. Grace to you and peace from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in unison for the invitatory. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our Psalms this evening are 94 and 95. I'll offer the odd verses. Please respond with the even. O Lord, you God of vengeance, you God of vengeance, shine forth. Praise up, O judge of the earth, to the proud, to the proud what, they what they deserve. O Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked exult? They pour out their arrogant words, our evil doers boast. They crush your people, O Lord, and afflict your heritage. <laughs> they they the widow, the widow and the stranger, they murder the, the orphan, the orphan. And they say, the Lord does not see the God of Jacob does not perceive. Understand, Understand O oh, dullest God. of the people, when, when you will be wise. He, wise. he who planted the ear, does he not hear? She who formed the eye, does she not see? He who disciplines the, the nations, he, nations. he, he who teaches the knowledge, knowledge to humankind, does he, does he not chastise? The Lord knows our thoughts, that they are but an empty breath. Happy are those, those who know the Lord, 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 and whom you teach out of your law, giving them respite from days of trouble until a pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not, for the Lord will not forsake his people, he will not abandon, will not his, abandon his heritage. <laughs> for justice will return to the righteous, and all the upright in heart will follow it. Who rises up against me against evildoers? 
the Lord had not been my help, my soul would soon have lived in the land of silence. When I thought, when I thought oh, my so foot is slipping, your steadfast, love, steadfast love, 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 love held me up. When the cares of my heart are many, your consolations cheer my soul. Can we could lose the ally with you? Mm -hmm. with you, you try mischief by statute. If by statute. They band together against the life of the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord, but the Lord has, has become, become my stronghold. stronghold. And my God, and my the, God rock the rock of my refuge. God will repay them for iniquity and wipe them out for their wickedness. The Lord our God will wipe them out. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into, let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful, let us make a joyful noise, noise to him with songs of praise. praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his, hand his hands are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains, mountains are also his. The sea is hers, for she made it, and the dry land which his hands have formed. O come, let, o us, come, let us worship and bow down. Bow down. Let us kneel before, before the Lord, Lord our, our maker. maker. For this is our God, and we are the people of God's pasture and the sheep of God's hand. Oh, that today you would listen to God's voice. Do not harden your, heart. harden your hearts as, as at Meribah, as on the day, of the day, day that Mass in the world. When your ancestor te ancestors tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my work. Forty years, Forty years, years I loved that, that generation, generation and there said, are people whose hearts are not they, they, they do not regard, they my, do not regard my ways. regard my ways. Therefore, in my anger, I swore they shall not enter my rest. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's first letter to the church in Corinth. I want you to be free from anxieties. The unmarried man is anxious about the affairs of the Lord, how to please the Lord. But the married man is anxious about the affairs of the world, how to please his wife, and his interests are divided. And the unmarried woman and the virgin are anxious about the affairs of the Lord, so they may be holy in body and spirit. But the married woman is anxious about the affairs of the world, how to please her husband. I say this for your own benefit, not to put any restraint upon you, but to promote good order and unhindered devotion to the Lord. If anyone thinks that he is not behaving properly towards his fiance, if his passions are strong, so it has to be, let him marry as he wishes. It is no sin. Let them marry. But if someone stands firm in his resolve, being under no necessity, but having his own desire under control and has determined in his own mind to keep her as his fiance, he will do well. So then he who marries his fiance does well and he who refrains from marriage will do better. A wife is bound as long as her husband lives, but if the husband dies, she is free to marry anyone else she wishes only in the Lord. But in my judgment, she is more blessed if she remains as she is. And I think that I, too, have the spirit of God, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle, the Song of Mary, together. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Luke. <clears throat> Once when he was in one of the cities, there was a man covered with leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he bowed with his face to the ground and begged him, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. Then Jesus stretched out his hand, touched him, and said, 
I do choose. Be made clean. Immediately the leprosy left him, and he ordered him to tell no one. Go, he said, and show yourself to the priest. And as Moses commanded, make an offering for your cleansing, for a testimony to them. But now more than ever, the word about Jesus spread ab abroad. Many crowds would gather to hear him and to be cured of their diseases. But he would withdraw to deserted places and pray. One day while he was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting nearby. They had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and from Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was with him to heal. Just then some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a bed. They were trying to bring him in and lay him before Jesus, but finding no way to bring him in because of the crowd. They went up on the roof and let him down with his bed through the tiles into the middle of the crowd in front of Jesus. When he saw their faith, he said, friend, your sins are forgiven you. Then the scribes and the Pharisees began to question, who is this who is speaking blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? When Jesus perceived their questionings, he answered them, why do you raise such questions in your hearts? Which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven you, or to say, stand up and walk, but so... So that you may know that the man, Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said, to, he said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, stand up and take your bed and go to your home. Immediately he stood up and before them, took what he had been lying on, and went to his home, glorifying God. Amaz amazement seized all of them, and they glorified God and were filled with awe, saying, We have seen strange things today. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, Song of Simeon, together. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord. O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat we you, O Lord. Oh Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat, we entreat you, O Lord. Oh Lord. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat, we entreat you, O Lord. Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat we you, O Lord. You, oh Lord that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, blessed Peter, our patron, and all your saints, and trusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, we entreat you, you Lord. Lord. O God, you declare your almighty power chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Grant us the fullness of your grace that we, running to obtain your promises, may become partakers of your heavenly treasure. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy. 
Defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. I welcome your intercessions and thanksgivings. We give thanks for all of our animal companions, and we also honor you, God, for the privilege and responsibility of caring for them, providing for them, and walking with them in this life. We pray for Joseph and for Brenda giving thanks for Brenda's emergence from crisis and for Joseph's recovery of health. We pray for Chris, who is struggling with pain, and for Chris, who had to have a tooth extracted today. Pray that all is well. Oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desi desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks be to God. God. God of hope, fill us with all joy and peace and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Well, everyone, thank you for joining us for evening prayer, <clears throat> your presence, and uh, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. We have 9 a.m. morning prayer, 10 a.m. Bible study, 12 noon noonday prayers and or Eucharist. Uh, I think we have Eustochium and Priscilla tomorrow so tune in to find out more about them 5 p.m evening prayer and of course we have uh, con con confirmation class continuing uh tomorrow night i believe is persevering and resisting evil and whenever we fall into sin repent and return to the lord really light subject matter for our youth so we bid you peace and grace like and subscribe hit the bell for notifications join us and know that we are always happy to welcome you home to st peter's bill alice and jacqueline thank you so much we will see you guys on the morrow Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.